metaphors. You know, you know, like indirectly, you understand? Why are you speaking to them in parables? Why? You understand? Why don't you just tell them directly, you know? Well, here's what the master says. He answered and said to them, because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. Now, we can we could go into a, a whole teaching and perhaps at another time if the Holy Spirit will we will go into a whole teaching because when you hear people talk about oh your loved one who has died is in heaven or you hear about people oh I want to go to heaven you know this kind of heaven idea is so misunderstood actually the kingdom of heaven is a so called Christian profession the Christian profession is the kingdom of heaven when you hear people say they're out there ministering Christ and Christ being ministered you understand, since nearly 2,000 years ago to the present time, all of that is really the kingdom of heaven. You understand, nowhere in the Bible does it say after you die, you're going to go to, to heaven. In fact, when it says after you die, it's talking about after you are born again. Because in order for you to be born again, you have to die to the old man. And then is when you enter the kingdom of heaven. You enter the profession of the so-called Christian religion or the profession of the Christ, the Profession of the Moshiach, but he says that it's not given to some to understand these mysteries, such as the mystery of the Triune or the mystery of the Trinity, such as the mystery of incarnation, the mystery of baptism, the mystery of Eucharist, the mystery of the resurrection of the dead. You understand, or the mysteries that he has laid out, which are the basic foundation in the Metzhaf Kedus, particularly the Wenigel, the Gospels. But if we go on. Just a little bit beyond verse 11 to verse 12 it says for whosoever hath to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that he hath this doesn't sound too fair a statement in the worldly eyes right in, in, in the worldly way of looking at it this will sound like a negative statement here it's saying that one who has is going to get more it's like they say the rich get richer right this is what it sounds like. The rich get richer and the poor get poor. The little bit that the poor man got, it gets taken away from him. Now, ones will say, but we're speaking spiritually here. But if you take this word in the way that it's most commonly understood in the churches, it would seem to imply that if you don't got, you understand, the little bit that you, that you have is going to be taken away. But remember, this is in context with the mysteries and context with the kingdom. Of the heaven therefore speak I to them in parables he's saying this is why he's speaking in metaphors you know, you know like indirectly you understand why are you speaking to them in parables why 